There's no other town I can call my home. Avon, New York is a welcoming community filled with scenic locations and a deep sense of connection. This beautiful historic town draws in many and is faced with many challenges that we have learned to adapt to. In this documentary, I hope to celebrate Avon's history, showcase the community's spirit, and delve into what makes Avon, well, Avon. The town of Avon, New York is located just on the northern end of Livingston County, an area impacted by glacial retreats over 10,000 years ago. This geological impact is still affecting the environment to this day, being cut by the Genesee River. The early, long-standing native settlements of Clovis tribes and Seneca tribes thrived in this rich landscape for thousands of years. It wasn't until the Revolutionary War that white settlers began moving to the area. Timothy Hosmer was a surgeon, and he served on George Washington's staff. After the war, he lived in Connecticut with Isaiah Thompson, and a couple other gentlemen were also decided they were going to come invest in this area. Timothy Hosmer and Isaiah Thompson were the only ones that actually physically came here. Maria Berry and her husband Gilbert Berry okay. were the first white settlers here in Avon. They did a tow ferry across the river. They very quickly formed, like when more people came, they're like, yeah. you know, we, we're going we're gonna to make this happen. That is the, the big little history of Avon. Avon is filled with rich history. Everywhere you turn, there's another piece of history. For example, the iconic Five Arch Bridge, built in the mid-1800s. This monument was originally a part of the Rochester and Genesee Valley Railroad, one of many railways that passed through Avon. Or the various schools around town, notably my alma mater, Avon Central. Like many other historic locations, it was rebuilt in 1961 after being burned down in a tragic fire. The school nowadays is a central part of the community here, with events all around town. For this documentary, I had the opportunity to interview members of the Avon Historical Society to learn more about our community. The, the, the Historical Society was it formed in Avon in 1983, and it, we are the custodians of, 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 of Avon history. Mm -hmm. we, um, we have all kinds of artifacts that we, that we put on display. We, we change our displays often. We keep our windows timely. Uh, so, you, you know, we try to keep we try to keep Avon's past field of vision, if you will. Although many of these kicking places have since been closed or removed, there's still many hot new spots for people to go to have fun. Places to eat, like Tom Walls, Peppermints, and the Village Restaurant. Places for performances, like the Opera Block, the Driving Cinema, and the Old Park Theater. And places to explore, like the Greenway, Casey Park, and the Avon Driving Park, commonly referred to as the Downs. Oh, oh, it stinks here. Well, actually, that's what got Avon so popular in the first place. Really? Uh, yeah, originally it was the Sulphur Springs. I mean, mm -hmm. I think I think that that's what made Avon very, very popular in, in, in the beginning. And there were, there were, at one time, 15 hotels. In, in, I mentioned the one that was here. Two of the railroad tracks, yeah. and that was the Avon Inn, which is still there. The Avon Inn began as a farm and sanitarium. Its central location has kept it within the community for centuries, until a fire caused extensive damage in the 70s. It has since been restored as a wedding venue on the National Register of Historic Places. Because it was cooler, it was they had the sulfur springs, if there were any uh, health issues and things like that. It was supposed to be very medicinal to to bathe in the in the springs, and then after the spa era, it it, it you know a lot of people had had settled here, and uh, so it just continued to to grow. This popularity has made Avon into something of a melting pot, a microcosm of America at the time. Our diverse community continues to grow and welcome young and old alike. There's a cooperation that thrives between various groups, such as the events held by the Methodist, Presbyterian, Wesleyan, and Episcopal churches. That's great. However, despite these developments, our community is still faced with many challenges and hardships over the years. But the past few years have shown how much progress that we still need to make. That we've struggled to get back on our feet. There is hunger, uh, disinterest, unemployment, and lack of transportation that we constantly face. 
sometimes it feels impossible for one person to make a difference. But with the connection of the entire community, we can learn how to adapt and overcome all of these challenges. There are still so many amazing things about Avon that I couldn't fit into this small documentary. The best way to explore the community is to experience it for yourself. Grab a root beer float from Town Walls. Uh, walk on the trails nearby. Have a conversation with one of the villagers. We invite you to our community of Avon.